Hi viewers, welcome to my channel. This is Anthony Vijay. Today we are going to discuss about Hello World program in Java. So let me see the explanation in Eclipse IDE. So we have to create a class for that. In this source area, right click and go to new and choose class. Here we have to give a class name. So class name supposed to starts with the capital letter. So I am using Hello world okay this is the name of the class the eclipse will create two lines automatically the two lines are automatically generated the first line is package declaration here the project name is sample in eclipse it will create a package on that name automatically the syntax for package declaration is we have to mention a keyword package space and the package name here the package name is sample this is called as uh, declaration of a package next line is very very important that is we are going to create a class okay so eclipse uh, will create this class automatically the syntax for the class is public then class is a keyword and uh, class name you have to mention here the class name is hello world okay I just going to explain word by word so here public is a access modifier makes a class globally available and the next one is class class is a keyword for creating a class class name is a user defined one so we can create a name with our own idea usually class name and file name supposed to be same otherwise our program will not run okay so here uh, class name is hello world and the file name also hello world so it's supposed to be same Okay, next line is a very very important line that is creating a main function. So for that we have to type public static void main of for string capital letter S we have to use string single dimensional array space ARGS. Okay, so I just explain what is the meaning for uh, this line. So I will once again explain word by word. Okay, so in Java programs, the point from where the program starts with execution or simply the entry point of Java program is the main method. Hence, it is the one of the most important method of uh, Java and having proper understanding of it's very, very important. So I will explain it one by one. So when I talk about public, it is an access modifier which specifies from where and who can access the main method. This access modifier make the main method globally available. Java virtual machine can invoke this main method from outside of the class as it is not present in the current class. So this is what public. So it means it will make the main function available globally. The next one is static. Static is a keyword while using this keyword main method assumed as static so that java virtual machine invoke the main method without creating an object usually static methods are not having objects it reduces the usage of memory without creating an object so this is what static the so next one is void so void is a keyword and used to specify that a method does not return anything here the return type for main method is void as soon as the main method terminates, the Java program also terminates. Hence, it does not make any sense to return from main method as Java virtual machine cannot do anything with a return value of it. So that we no need to use int main or any other uh, type of main. We can directly use void main. Okay. So if you make any changes in this, surely we will get error. Okay. So next word is main. So main is very very important. It's a main method. It is a starting point of the Java program. And the next one is string of ARGS. Uh, here the name of the array is ARGS. Does not fix it with any size and having the type is string. So here we can have any name in it. And it is also used in command line process also. Okay, this is what this line. So keep in mind. So if you make any changes, it will create a problem. I will show you that also. So next line is very important. We have to use a curly braces open and close. So inside that main function. Okay. 
so previously in c and c++ we use void main or int main but in java you have to use public static void main if you miss out any one of the thing like public or static so surely we will get error i will show you at the end of the session okay uh, now i am going to print the hello world text for that i am using system dot out dot println so inside that within a double quotes i am using hello world finally end with semicolon now i just going to explain this line okay so we have to divide this line into three parts the first part is system system is a class so which is having input and output string so input means we are going to give the input to the computer and output means we are getting the output from the computer it means we will get the output in the screen for that purpose we are using that class so next one is out so this is an object of print stream type which is a public and static member field of uh, system class so it can deal with the printing the text and all so we can assume that system dot out represent the standard output stream so finally print ln print ln is an upgraded version of print it prints any argument passed to it and adds a new line to your output it means it will print line by line so here ln means line okay so here i am going to show the output of this program i run the code see we are getting hello world okay if i give one more line system out dot println welcome to java programming and end with the semicolon once again i run the code we will get the output line by line see hello world in separate line welcome to java programming in separate line so this is what hello world program okay so in the upcoming session we will going to see about how to create an object okay so guys if you are having any queries just mention in the comment box i will clarify your doubts and if you want to take any new topics just mention in the comment box i will surely handle in the upcoming sessions please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for regular updates thank you very much for watching